Brian, Chris is here on the 51 DeSoto. He's uh, getting the fuel tank mounted up. He's made some uh, fuel tank brackets and everything. Um, getting those ready to be bolted to the frame. Uh, doing this, he also has had a notch the frame for the filler neck right there, as you can see. Um, so we can actually fill up the tank, which is usually handy in this kind of situation. <laughs> and you'll have this thing all mounted up and ready to rock and roll. And Joe's here working on the ferry line. He's pulling the steering column out of it. It's an I did it column, and we're going to be modifying it um, to take a Ford, uh, Ford steering shaft so we can fit a Ford steering wheel in it um, to match up the correct splines. And he's also been working on getting some seat belts installed in the car, checking out that situation, as well as um, getting the windows functioning and going up and down smoothly without catching or rubbing. And Tommy and Matt here are carrying on with the 55. And you got the whole body bolted down, all the body mounts and everything, the roll cage, all that stuff's nice and tight. And they're roughing in the whole side of the car now. You got the whole rear end getting pretty close, working their way through to the door. And uh, following up, we'll be mounting the fenders and getting those all put together. Dean's chopping more of the mercury pieces. He's got the garnish moldings gone, uh, gone through on the driver's side. That's all fitted up nicely with the vent window and everything's clearing and functioning. And he's currently working on the passenger side, repeating the same process. And here we're working on our custom built Divco project. Uh, we're currently making some patterns for the flooring. Um, these are two uh, braces that will be holding the pattern together. Um, and the cardboard will be transferred into aluminum, so we've got a nice, uh, accurate pattern of the floor pan.